Alright, uh, how's it going, everyone who watches this? Uh, not really tired yet, so I figured I'd just go ahead and make a little quick video. Uh, I'm going sh to show you how to open an application using a keyboard shortcut on Mac OS X. Um, now, unfortunately, there is no, really no direct way of doing this. Uh, however, there is a very easy workaround that you can use. So you're going to go ahead and open up Automator. See, there it is right there. You search it in Spotlight, or it's probably in your uh, Utilities folder. Yeah, no, it's it's in the Utilities folder. Pretty sure. Uh, you know, this is on every every Apple computer. I'm sure almost nobody is familiar with it. I'm really not even that familiar with it. I'm just not gonna do this. So anyway, you're gonna arrow over to service right there. Enter. Just type L I U for launch application. Right, that's that's the service we want to do. Hit enter twice or you could just drag it over into here. Uh let's let's open up let's use uh let's get Microsoft Word. Alright, it's not actually it should not in here. Uh so other And there it is, Microsoft Word. Now, I want to make this no input in any application. And save that. Let's make this Word Launch. Alright, that's saved. And that's it for Automator for now. Now, just go ahead and open up System Preferences. Uh, got a keyboard, Services. Uh, scroll to the bottom, and you can see there it is right there, Word Launch. Now, I have to add the shortcut. Now, when adding, when adding your shortcut, you want to make sure that uh, you, know, you choose one that isn't being that isn't used by any app or any other application for uh, you know anything. So uh, let's just make this. Command Option Control W. I think we should be safe with that one. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's it for there. Now we can just quit that, and now you see, in the services, I'll pop up there. And you can either just click it there, or let's quit. We could use our newly created keyboard shortcut. So let's let's give that a shot. There we are. Word. Word. <laughs> so yeah, that there you go. That's how you that's how you create keyboard shortcuts for opening applications. And obviously, you know, you can do that for anything else. I got another one for very useful. Find any file. I highly recommend that to everyone with a computer, uh, as the standard finder is pretty lacking, as you might find. But find any file. I it worth worth the money, very worth the money. But anyway, so that uh, that concludes today's video. Hope you've all found this informative and useful. And uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.